So the first thing we're going to need is an app that's already built. The second thing that we're going to need is an EAS account if you don't have one already. So you can go and make an account here on the ESS store. And then you're also going to need an Apple developer account. So if you haven't made one already, feel free to make one here. So the first thing you're going to do is go to EAS build. We're going to get create your first build and we are going to install the command line interface EAS. So we're going to our cut editor terminal and then we can exit out of here and run that. I already have it installed, but it will update it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to log into our EAS account. So EAS login and I am already logged in as Andrew Heim. So that's perfect. And then if you want to check if you're logged in, you can also do EAS who am I and I'm already logged in. Next thing you're going to do is we're going to build configure, but we're only going to do the platform iOS because we're only doing iOS right now. So would you like to automatically create an EAS project? Yes. So after your project has been configured, we're going to scroll down and hit run a build. We're going to do the AS build platform iOS and hit that. And it's going to ask you to log into your Apple account. So you're going to log in here and then you're going to want to generate a new Apple provisioning profile. Hit yes. And then now the build is queued. It'll take maybe around six minutes or longer depending on your app. So if we go to Expo Dev Dashboard, right here, Expo.dev, we'll have our projects. And right now we are building the Sequence Game app. And I'll let you know when it's done. Okay, it took about seven minutes and 53 seconds. Now that our build is up, we can now go to the App Store Connect. And now you're gonna log into your Apple account. Okay, once you're in, you're gonna go to Apps. We are going to create a new app hit the plus icon, it's gonna be on the iOS platform. We're gonna call it Sequence Game. If I can spell game. A primary language is English US. Bundle ID is the Sequence Game. And this was auto-generated. And we're just gonna call it the same, the SKU is our individual identifier. And we're gonna call it just the same as our bundle identifier, which is Andrew Heim and then Sequence Game. And if you're wondering, it can also be found in your app.json right here. So this is just what I'm copying down right here. And then you hit create. Sequence game is already taken, so we're just gonna throw like an exclamation point at the end. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna have to fill out a lot of information. The first thing we have to do is get screenshots. Ideally, you have the iPad and the iPhone. Those are the ones that are necessary. So I already got these, so I'm gonna fill these out right now, but if you want to know how to do these, I can either do a video about it or there's a lot of other resources online to generate these screenshots. Okay, there we go. We have the 6.9 as well as the 13. Now we have the proposal text, description, and keywords. I just generated these three using ChatGPT. Okay, and this is what it came up with. I have a description, promotional text, and keywords. So now we're going to save this real quick. Now we're going to go down to app information. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up uh, content rates. So no, it does not show any third-party content. We're gonna set up our category as well. So I believe this is a game and we'll call it a strategy game. We're gonna set up the age rating and we're gonna do none for all these. And it does not contain unrestricted access to web, gambling, or loot boxes. So we're gonna hit next. This app is made for kids. And we're gonna make this app 17 plus, just more because it's not really a kids game app. And then hit done. Next we have the app encryption documentation, but we do not have any encryption. Okay, so then we're gonna save this. And now we're going to go to app privacy. And so we're gonna get started. And we do not collect any data from this app. And that makes it easy. And next we're also gonna need this privacy policy URL. So what we're gonna do is go to app.privacypolicies. And this just generates you an automatic privacy policy. We're gonna go app, next step, and call it sequence, sequence game. I'm an individual in the United States, California. That's where I'm from. And what kind of personal information? Others, because we don't collect any, and we don't do any of that. So, perfect. 
they can contact us by email and I'll just put my personal email in. Awesome. No, I don't want professional privacy policy. And then we're just gonna send it here and we're going to generate. Okay, so now we have our link to our privacy policy. We can check it out here if we would like. Uh, this is kind of like what it looks like. So it looks pretty good. And we're gonna throw this into our privacy policy URL. Okay, and then we are going to hit publish as well and hit publish, perfect. Now we're gonna go to pricing and availability. So we're gonna add pricing. It's basically gonna be free 99, AKA zero dollars. That looks good, good. And the availability, we're gonna do all countries. So we can just hit next and confirm. So now we're gonna go back to our app submission at 1.0. So the version, we are gonna call it 1.0.0. Okay, so first we have this support URL. We're just gonna be using the privacy policy because they have contact to us through the privacy. So basically if there's an issue, they'll send the user to the privacy policy and then they can contact us through email. And then copyright, I'm just going to throw in Andrew Heim. I don't know if we have to throw a year in we might go 2024 Andrew and then hit save. And the next thing we're gonna do is scroll down. Uh, we don't need a sign in, but if you do need a sign in, you just put how you, uh, a, the user sign in for the Apple reviewer. So we're gonna hit no and we're gonna say, thank you for reviewing our app. Maybe they'll let us slide with more things if we do that. Just gotta thank the reviewer. And now we're gonna get our build here. So the way we're gonna get our build is use EAS submit. So if you go to the documentation, we're gonna configure with EAS.json. So right here for production profile, and we when we run the command EAS submit, we are going to have to change this and add these three items to our app.json or our EAS.json. So we're going to go to cursor. We're gonna to go to our eas.json. And then in the submit, we are going to throw in iOS. And we're gonna change this to my email. Save it. Now we're gonna get the ASC app ID. So we're gonna go App Store Connect, App Information. We're also gonna save this. Now get app information, scroll down. Now we have the Apple ID right here, save that. Now we're gonna get the Apple team ID. So you're gonna to go to Apple Developer Center, Apple Developer Program, you're gonna to go to account. You're going to scroll down and once you hit membership details, you're going to copy and paste this membership team ID. Go back to cursor and throw it that in perfect okay so now we are going to go to submit to apple and we already did this earlier but you can run this command if you haven't already and then we're going to run eas submit on the ios platform and we're going to select a build from eas and this is the one we finished about 20 minutes ago we're going to add a new key, create a new Apple Connect API key, perfect. We're gonna log into the account to continue and then we're gonna be submitting the app to the Apple Store and then I'll let you know when this is done. Okay, now our app has been successfully uploaded. Now we just have to wait maybe five, 10 minutes and then the app build will be available. So we're gonna to go to the Apple Store Connect and we're going to we're going to the 1.0.0. Scroll down to build and let's see add build. Oh, nice! It looks like our build is ready, so we're going to hit done. We have a missing compliance and we have no types of encryption, so none of the algorithms mentioned above are implemented. We're going to hit save. We're going to hit add to review. Now we make sure everything is good. We have the iOS app store and we're going to submit to the app review. And then boom, now we just have to wait for our submission to hopefully be accepted. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video useful.